Hey everyone, Brian Matthews and Emmy Matthews here for another video I for you. Say it. Start over. Why? Let me talk. Why can't we do this? Do it that way. Because you every okay. other time you said and. Okay. Hey everyone, Brian Matthews here with another video for you. Today on the Wild Game Wednesday, I have my special host. Emmy. Today we're going to be making deer tacos. And I know you're thinking, wow, tacos on Wednesday? Really? Yes, we're having tacos on Wednesday. The first thing you will need, obviously, is your lovely hunk of meat. About a pound of deer venison burger. Uh, some chili, powder. garlic, <laughs> chili powder, garlic powder, paprika, cumin, onion powder, oregano, pepper cayenne, and Emmy's favorite, the great value petite diced tomatoes. You want to make sure you get the petite diced tomatoes because if you get the regular diced tomatoes, you'll have kind of chunky tacos. And if you're like me who has high blood pressure, get the no salt added. Yep, that's what we get. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, get your pan heated, which we've already kind of started doing. Brown the meat. Uh, that's the second step. So we're going to get that going. And once that gets done, we'll, we'll put all the spices in for you and, and show you that step as well. Sizzle, sizzle. Ooh, it's going to sizzle. <laughs> Grab my favorite tool. It's still frozen. <laughs> <laughs> It'll fall. You just gotta scrape it off. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing that? I thought I was gonna do it. Because you walked away from the station. <laughs> and then you take over. It ain't frozen. Maybe just a little. Make sure you thaw your meat out all the way first. <laughs> Brian was in charge of thawing the meat today. Okay, it's about to work. Just go and don't hurt yourself. You're going to catch your hair on fire. Just let it, let it cook. Let well, it cook. you're on a gigantic mound of yeah, deer meat. Well, obviously. You let it cook a little bit and then keep scraping it off. <laughs> this is why we can edit this part out. I was just gonna throw it in there and then. Oh, and then sudden, it'd be done. This is sudden, the funny part. <laughs> she's hating on my cooking. Turn me up. This thing ain't gonna get done in no time. I turned it down hours. so that it wouldn't burn while it was thawing. You want to put it in the microwave for a minute? No. I've done this before. Like that? Yes. Okay. She's smelling good. She's smelling like deer meat. Do you want me to get your seasoning and cutting while you do that? Or you want to pour if you it would right like in? to. That way you can discuss all of Trying to be organized, but you know, sometimes that doesn't This happen. isn't a serious cooking show. This is a fun cooking show. Yeah, we had a long discussion about that. Okay, so we prefer to make our own taco seasoning instead of buying the packs just because we like to cut out a lot of salt in our recipes, and so we found that that's an easy way to do it. So we have chili powder, garlic powder, paprika, cumin. Oregano, onion powder, and cayenne pepper, or you can use crushed red pepper flakes if you want to. So we're going to start out with our chili powder, and you want a tablespoon. And I just measure directly over the bowl, so if it spills like through that, you have a little extra chili powder. All right. Next, we're going 
we are human. This is just a recipe we've used for a while. We really enjoy it. Whether you're using deer meat or just your regular beef tacos, it's or good turkey. with either. Or turkey. We do turkey tacos too. All right, so we've got our cumin, our chili powder, now we've got our paprika. And I'm just kind of eyeballing it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Got our garlic. And so we had a tablespoon of the chili powder and the cumin, paprika, and garlic, you only need a teaspoon of those. Then for the oregano, you need a half a teaspoon. And I'll put the recipe link for you guys so y'all can watch it. And you need a half teaspoon onion powder. And lastly, cayenne pepper or your crushed pepper flakes, whichever you prefer. We're going to do a quarter teaspoon. And you can add some pepper as well to your liking. This is when the recipe would normally call for salt. So if you want salt in yours, you can add it then. We just choose to take the salt out to help it be less sodium. So we have our spices, we can just give it a little stir. So as she's doing that, uh, the meat was almost done browning. I just went over to the sink and poured that grease into a bowl and uh, basically just drained the meat as best I could with that lid. Uh, she's going to put the seasoning in, but the next thing that you're going to want to do is take that can of petite diced tomatoes, uh, like say, you don't have to use the great value brand. <laughs> You don't have to use the no salt added, but because of my high blood pressure, once again, um, any brand, use. any version will work. It just depends on what you want. Um, and the petite diced tomatoes, you don't even realize they're in there, um, so it doesn't. And you don't notice the tomatoes too much. I know a lot of the uh, seasoning packs, like you see from the big box stores, like these old El Paso boxes that you see in the grocery store the seasoning packs will tell you to add a little bit of water um, that's another reason why we add the tomatoes um, to give it a little bit more water and consistency we may add a little bit to this um, as you know the because I think it's a little over a pound of meat yeah the, the well that and the, the venison itself is uh, obviously dry um, so that be it too. There, there's not a lot of extra grease that gets left in the bottom of the pan. Um, so I'm going to grab a lovely little pitcher here. And you just stir this up in the tomatoes and the juice from the tomatoes will mix with your taco seasoning um, like it would if you added water to a pack. And there's, there's no rhyme or reason to it. Just add a little bit of water, just enough to... Just a little bit, just to dissolve the chili powder and make it more into a liquid. And so I'm going to turn that eye back up because I turned it down for you. Okay. And you just want to kind of let it simmer for a few minutes just to let the sauce cook it up. All right. We've got our lovely tacos done. Uh, obviously, we've got a whole pan of meat here that we can either put in the freezer or put in the refrigerator and have lunch for the next couple of days or dinner. And uh, like I say, we're going to try these bowls out. I'm going to let Emmy go first. She's always the taste tester uh, to go first, and she's going to try to be delicate and do the fork. Yeah, I don't know how you eat the bowls. Eat it. Well, I know how you're going to eat the eat bowls. Eat it like a taco, if I can even get it up. Mm. That's very good. They're hot. <laughs> Be sure you let your meat cool before you eat half the bowl. I didn't eat quite half. I ate a quarter of it. I don't think this is how the bowls were intended to be eaten. So, anyways, 
we will leave a description of the ingredients and everything down below. And uh, so you guys can try it at home. Also, we will uh, come up with something else. Another wild game Wednesday for you. We are going to try to post these at eight o'clock every Wednesday for you. Some kind of new recipe. Uh, it may not be always wild game, but it's going to be something that hopefully you can find around your grocery store or around your house or from a friend or family. You know, if you don't have any deer meat in your your kitchen, uh, you can always you know call up a buddy or something like that, and maybe they have some extra deer meat that they let you have just to try it. Or uh, you can always use uh, hamburger meat, turkey, mm -hmm. um, or even ground up chicken uh, to, to do this particular recipe. So we hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and catch us on the next Wild Game Wednesday. I know how to cook. So you're editing this part out? Some of it. Microwave your meat until a desired deep frostedness. See, it's going to cook in there, too. It'll be fine. Uh, they don't have a deer deep froster button on the microwave. Momentary calls. Mm. Enjoy the humming of our microwave. Hum. This video was brought to you by Treason.